Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about sorting lists of strings. So in my case, it's list of strings. It can be integers or any data type actually. Uh, but in my case, it's list of strings and you can actually convert it to list of strings in order to work if you have a list of integer. So the whole idea is that let me introduce you uh, what we are going to uh, build in the end of the day. So this is a list of cities, Paris, Sofia, Sofia is the capital of Bulgaria, New York, and London. And let's move London to the second place, for example, and let's move Paris to the last place. And now if we go back to this page, which is the main menu, and let's go back to the sorting, and you can actually see that the order is saved. So again, if I move New York to the last place, Paris to the first place, so far, Paris should be in the first place, New York in the last place, go back, go over here to the same page, so Paris in the first place and New York in the second place. So if I move Sofia to the last place, let's say New York to the first place, so Sofia in the, 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 New York is the first place, Sofia is the last place, let's go back. And now New York is the last is the sorry is the first place and Sofia is the last place. So you have you can actually drag and drop. Uh, you can only drag and drop right now using this over here. You cannot drag and drop using the uh, names itself. You can drag and drop using those uh, using the icons. And when you are done, actually, uh, I made a little bit extension of this uh, widget. Uh, to actually save this data uh, into your Firebase uh, database. Or you can actually store it uh, wherever you want to because I did it without coding, uh, so it would be easier uh, for you guys uh, to actually save wherever you want to, so Superbase or your backend. Or you you have, it, it's not, it's not purposely, you don't have to actually purposely save the data because, um, it is actually saved in the app state. So the app state is persistent. Even if you close the app, it will actually save this, uh, this state. You can do it this way as well. Uh, and then uh, if, I, if I go back here, you can actually see, if I go back here, you can actually see my collection. So in my case, I have cities collection. I have one document and I have the order of the city. So right now the first city is London, Paris, Sofia, and New York. And if I go back to my order, you can actually see that the order is not that. But if I click on save button, and let's go back real quickly to my Firebase, you can actually see right now that the order has changed indeed. So we can actually save the order inside our, uh, inside our Firebase. And if we change the order, let's say, for example, New York will be the last place right now. And let's say Paris or let's say Sofia will be the first place. Sofia, Paris, London, New York. Save that. Go back over here. And you can see, indeed, Sofia, Paris, London, New York is the names of the city in order. So this is, uh, if you have more cities, uh, it should work the same way. I did it with four, but you get the idea. And then let me show you how you can actually do this. Okay, so let me show you how I did that. Before I show you, actually, let me show you my page. And let me tell you that all the code will be available here. And it's, of course, in my GitHub repo. You can find a link in the description of this page. Uh, and then uh, you can actually get the code. And of course, you can change because I'm using app states. Uh, and you can actually change uh, the app state over here. So, for example, in this example, I have the app state called record video FB. You can call it like my record, for example, and this will actually change the code uh, inside over here automatically. So, you don't have to <clears throat> search it and then change it. Uh, and then this is the page, actually. I have no idea why this is gray. It should actually uh, uh, show you uh, the actual widget. 
uh, but I don't know, like I said, I don't know why it is showing gray. Uh, but the whole idea is that I have this page and in my case right now, I'm getting the data from um, from the Firebase query, but you can get the data from API code. You can get the data from AppState itself. Uh, you don't have to use a backend for that. Uh, I'm just simply, uh, because I have a single document right now, I have the collection cities and I have the single document. And this is outputting me the cities uh, in a list uh, of strings. And then uh, this is my uh, custom widget. Uh, which is sorting things. I have the width of uh, 100%, the height of 80%, and then I have the list. And the list, as you can see over here, like I said, it's a list of strings. And this list of strings, like I said, can come from AppState or any backend that you want. Uh, and then here, I'm just getting the order uh, and no further changes. I'm just getting the list like that. And in the button itself, I have a button save order, and I have th this button to save order to actually save the data inside Firebase. You don't, like I said, you don't need to have that because uh, I you can make uh, your data uh, in App State and then just save it inside the App State uh, and then change the order of the cities in the App State and then use the App State instead and you don't have to save it in your backend in Firebase. It's up to you, whatever you prefer to. I did it like that because I think this is more advanced uh, to do it this way. Uh, and it's keeping the data for every user in this way because if you do, if you save it in the app state, it will just keep the data for each individual user. But if you want to keep the data only the sorting for each individual user, you can do it, uh, you can save this for the app state uh, and instead of the back end you can have the app state uh, saved so let me actually show you real quickly what i mean uh, if i have this and i can have another button which will say save uh save app state let's say save app state or save to app state probably is the better one uh, and then Saving to the app state will be, let's say that I have update uh, app state and then I have cities, the first one that I'm going to use. And then in the first one, I'm going to set value, which will actually set the whole cities and then I have a custom function. So the custom functions that we're going to use is the last one because we want to convert the JSON. So we, we are outputting a list of JSONs and the list of JSON is the first is the city and the second is the place of the city from zero to three in my case because I have only four parameters. And then this list uh, is actually coming from... Um, uh, this list is actually coming from app state and I'm saving this into an app state right now, which is cities JSON. So this is city JSONs. No further changes. I don't want further changes. Save it like that. No further changes here as well. Uh, and then confirm it. And now you, you will save it in the app state. Uh, and this is how you save it in Firebase. So you have, like I said, you have to query it. I'm queried here on the scaffold page, on the scaffold uh, widget, sorry. Uh, and then I'm using the reference. So the reference is coming from here. And then, so I'm using the reference here and I'm using this for the data. I'm using this for the widget data. And then if I go to order, um, I am, um, actually doing the same thing uh, so i'm set the, setting the value so i have the order set value and then i'm using the same function and then this data it's coming again from the app state because i'm changing the order uh, when i drag when i drag the items i'm changing the order inside the city uh, state the city's json app state and then let me show you the actual code uh, like i said this code will be available in the page uh, so you can take it from there. So this is the actual code. Uh, 
you don't probably need the print ones. I just did it for debugging purposes. I'll delete it for now. So this is the actual code. You only need one parameter, which is the actual list. Uh, and, and then you have the init state. So the init state will actually check uh, if you have uh, your list. And if you don't have your list, it will actually create a list for you. Uh, uh, I mean, if you have the list in the JSON format. If you don't have the list in the JSON format, it will create it for you and save it inside the app state. So that, like I said, the app state in my case, it's cities, JSON, uh, but it can be anything. So in this, in the page that I told you about, in this page over here, you can actually change the uh, variables uh, that I'm using. And then uh, the, the other important thing is that uh, on order, so uh, it's on order is actually uh, every time you uh, change the order of an item, it will actually uh, re, uh, reorder the, uh, the, the items of the values. Uh, because right now, like I said, is a, uh, let me show you uh, the app state. Probably this will be better. Uh, so if I go to the app state uh, and let's go to the cities. So let's go to cities. This is the cities. And you don't see it right now, right here, because I don't have a default one. Uh, but the whole idea is that it will actually create the name of the city, which let's say in my case is Sophia. Uh, and then it will be like uh, dots and then let's say zero. So this will be like, uh, Sophia will be on the first place, and then it will change Sophia to the. This will be the third place because uh, the array starts from zero. Uh, so yeah, I think you get the idea. And then this is, um, and then we have a function. So the function is actually converting this JSON. So because it's converting the JSON from uh, the, from city, and then what is the uh, order? Uh, of the city where this city has to go, uh, we're actually uh, getting a new list of data, uh, which is a result list. We're getting the data in the list of JSON form. Uh, and this is coming from the app state always. Uh, and then we are, in theory, we can directly take this from the app state, but I think it's a better uh, abstraction to actually uh, do it uh, as an argument and not get it directly from the app state because in theory you can you can uh, you can change it and use it some other in some other place it can come from API core or, or from another place and then um, and then yeah uh, we are actually uh, looping through all the uh, JSONs. And then we are getting the index uh, where it, this city its uh, its indices indexes, uh, and then we are putting this inside the new uh, the new list of strings only. And we are actually sorting this list. So this list will actually sort it, and then we can actually save it. So like I said, we can save it in the uh, Firebase. We can save it over here or we can save it in the app state. We can actually have another app state. Um, in my case, it's cities and the list of strings. And this is, for example, my list, and we can save it in the app state. Uh, and then uh, we can actually use this app state to output the cities next time a person visit this page. Uh, so I think that's all uh, for now. So before we go, I want to just say thank you very much for tuning in and for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Uh, and then I just want to say that all the links will be available in the description and that uh, you can actually, if you like what I'm doing, uh, you can actually sponsor my work uh, from this page, which will be again available in the description. Uh, and then, yeah. Thank you very much again and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.